I have no idea if there's gonna be an audience for this video. I mean, the movie sure didn't have one, but I want to talk about it. And more specifically, the protagonist. Before I do though, I should mention that I got this idea from Sarcastic Chorus's video on Lightyear, so I'd suggest that you go check that video after this one. Now, since I'm gonna be covering the main character's entire arc, this video will discuss spoilers, so here's your warning. So yeah, this won't be a discussion on the movie, just buzz really and how he represents one of the biggest issues in Disney. Or at least his storytelling, the company itself has a lot of issues. But the issue in question for this video is in how they write their protagonist. Disney relies on people liking the main characters of their stories so that you'll watch the whole movie, so you watch the spin-offs and sequels, and so you buy a t-shirt and the toys. Likeability is an important part in how they make money, and since that's clearly all they care about now, it's one of their main priorities when writing. And it often results as a detriment to the story. Take this movie as an example. This film tried to make Buzz so likable that it ruins his arc. The whole idea here is that Buzz needs to learn to be a team player and to trust people more, as opposed to being a solo act. The issue is, he never really acts bad enough to warrant it. The whole time, he's still respectful and formal to everyone around him. At most, he's a bit passive-aggressive. His character flaw of not wanting to work together isn't him going like, I am the greatest, no one can match my level, they'll only slow me down. He's just like, nah, you guys aren't quite ready, I don't want you to get hurt, but I love what you're doing and you should continue. Well, golly, oh gee, he sounds awful, doesn't he? And that's the issue. They don't make characters unlikable enough to sell their arc because they're more focused on the characters being likable enough to sell their products. And it's odd to see, because the original Toy Story is a great example of having an unlikable protagonist who changes. Woody is a complete dick at the start of the film, but because of that it makes it more satisfying to see him change over the course of the story. Because he can't quite appreciate the highs without suffering the lows a bit. He needs to actually be arrogant enough to warrant this arc, and he can't already have a teammate if the lesson is to be a team player, and it doesn't help that only one of his new team members actually matters to the story. You can completely delete Thing 1 and Thing 2 and absolutely nothing will change about the movie besides their runtime. They are unnecessary accessories to an already unnecessary movie which has a main character go through an unnecessary arc. Cause that's the most important factor here, whether this arc was necessary for the character. Because whether it works for the viewer changes from person to person, but I think it can be somewhat objectively deduced whether it fits the character and whether it's needed or not. In this movie's case, I don't think it was necessary because Buzz is too nice already. His arc of moving on from failure is fine, because that's an actual character flaw being fixed. But here? He needs to be made into a more arrogant and cocky character for us to not only believe his transformation, but to be invested in it and to get satisfied by it. If you're not going to make him unlikable enough for his arc to be effective, just try giving him a different arc rather than the same old lone soldier who has to learn to trust others and become a team player in order to overcome their issues. Because friendship is the real magic type story we've already seen a dozen times. Some arcs don't require the protagonist to be jerks in order to be effective. Look at Mirabelle and Encanto. She has a well done arc that's satisfying to watch and she starts the movie as already one of the nicest characters. Disney just seems to have an issue with choosing sides. They clearly want to at least try and have characters who are semi-unlikable and have to learn lessons like trust and friendship, but then they either butcher that arc or forget to motivate the arc in the first place. Or both! Ryan the Last Dragon faced a similar complaint, because that movie made Raya's level of distrust super warranted, and then forgot to give a reason to trust people blindly as the movie preaches. Which, the entire idea of that message was probably enough to receive criticism, because blindly trusting strangers is terrible advice, especially to give to kids. And like I said, I think his main arc of the whole knowing when to quit is done well enough, and I do like the lesson itself that messing up is fine, and that you don't always need to fix everything. But not only does that arc leave the movie for the entire middle section, but it also feels a bit forced with the inclusion slash twist of evil buzz. But that's a whole other can of worms, I'm not here to talk about that. I just don't think that this arc was written well enough to be entertaining or even justified. Which, personally, is kinda how I feel about the movie. Buzz isn't on either end of the spectrum here. He isn't arrogant enough to warrant his arc, and he's far too plain to warrant the universal love he got in the Toy Story universe. Like, this generic, formal, non-charismatic guy really was so appealing to kids in-universe that entire aisles of his figures were made, as opposed to, say, Socks, who's not only the best marketing opportunity in the film, but also just the best character, and that's a fact. I mean, clearly this movie wasn't trying to actually emulate a space action movie made in the 90s. That was really just an excuse for the movie to exist. 
You can't fool me, movie. Your progressiveness for a movie made in 1995 is even more astonishing than the level of effects this film would need in live action. And I guess that's kind of why I made this video. I'm not here to persuade anyone. If you liked the film, then that's totally fine. I can see what you might like about it. I liked plenty of it myself, but I can just admit that overall it wasn't my thing. I'm just a bit disappointed because I think this movie could have been a great spoof of 90s space action movies. And right now, it just feels like a movie made today that was labeled as an in-universe film from a whole nother decade just because Pixar was afraid of making something unconnected to an established money-making IP. And that's how I feel about Buzz's Ark. Miss potential that, while not awful or insulting, just feels like it didn't need to exist. Guess that's all I have to say. See you next time.